Hi, my name is Eric Darnell and I'm the director of Asteroids, which is being featured at the New Frontier competition at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival. I had been uh, working for over 20 years directing uh, feature animated films. I was a director on Ants and a writer and director on all the Madagascar films. And I decided that maybe it was time to try something different and put on a VR headset for the first time. It blew me away. It's like this undiscovered frontier. We made Invasion and it came out and we were surprised as much as anybody by, by how well it did. So we dove right into making this next episode, I suppose you could call it, called Asteroids, which digs a little bit deeper into who these two aliens are and what their relationship is with one another. But they actually have names. We call them Mac and Cheese, after the favorite food of our animator from Poland. He, one of the things he loves most about America is Mac and Cheese. So this story is sort of about Mac, who is just obsessive about cleaning his ship. You know, he's got a little bit of an OCD about this whole thing. He kind of loses sight of what really matters. And what really matters, of course, is his, his friendship with Cheese. <laughs> when Mac's obsessiveness leads to Cheese being tossed out into an asteroid field, and something has to be done to bring him back. And it's sort of through this story that Mac kind of comes to terms with what really matters in his life and, and how much he really does value cheese. There's a moment in Invasion where the bunny hides behind the viewer and people took their headset off after watching it and they said, I've never had an experience like that before. I felt like that bunny was behind me even when I wasn't looking at her. I could feel her presence and I was compelled to do something compassionate to protect her from those aliens. And, you know, you just don't have that kind of experience when you watch a movie. There's, you, you never feel like there's something you should be doing to help another character. And so it really struck me that that ability to elicit that kind of concern or empathy for a character and actually then for people to want to translate that into compassion, which is, you know, the action that you take based upon empathy, um, was a pretty profound, I think, discovery for me. And it changed the way I thought about VR. VR isn't just an extension of cinema. It's its own new medium that will become what I think is a dominant entertainment art form in this century, if not the dominant entertainment art form.